Welcome back to another episode of Big Bear Boston Squad, episode number 32. The conversation I want to get into today is about Keith Thurman. With the win against Mario Barrios, can he once again reclaim what he had and become top dog in the West Wing division? Let's get into the conversation. I look forward to great competition, you know, and Errol is that. He's great competition. Um, you know, my motto stayed the same. I got to O, I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me, you know, because when I train and when I fight, I give it my best. And what are your thoughts right now sitting, you know, in such close proximity with Keith, you yeah. know, in front of us, um, knowing that this fight could be the fight that he was saying, you know, potentially a, a Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Hearns type of fight, you know, uh, man, in this era, you, uh, mm -hmm. Keith, could you answer the question also? I mean, my thoughts been what it's been since I was 15 and 0 when I said, you know, I'll fight Keith Thurman, anybody in the top five. I want to tell all of them as we move forward with Keith Thurman. Um. Uh, Crawford knows uh, he can get it. Um, I'm a very simple, simple man uh, when it comes to the fight world and doing business. You know what I mean? Be real. Be real. Send a contract. Watch me sign it. You know what so I'm you're saying, saying you're, you're telling me that if Terrence Crawford, who is a champion right now, mm -hmm. for some reason, if the fat with Pacquiao cannot manifest itself, but you're telling me that if Terrence Crawford and they would send a contract and say, we want Keith Thurman, if the financials are right, you'd be okay with it? You would oh, do of it? Course. Of course, of course. I just want to start off by saying, man, Keith Thurman was once top dog. Keith Thurman was once that man that every, nobody wanted to face. Uh, and that was before Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford actually showed up on the welterweight uh, division doorstep. But other than that, man, Keith Thurman, he's got a great resume, great resume. And he, he lost to a legend. You know, he, he's, uh, he, he lost to a legend. And I think Pacquiao was a bit too much for him in the earlier stages. But, man, go back and watch that fight. It was a lot closer than the media was making it. It was so much closer than what the media was making it. Um, he got dropped early. And uh, he also got hit, I think it was around about 7th, 8th round, where he got actually hurt, spit out his mouthpiece. Uh, Keith Thurman has been known to get hurt very, very badly to the body. Uh, I think that's one thing he's going to have to work on as a professional athlete is his ab conditioning. Um, I think if he can do that, he can tighten up in some areas. Uh, but other than that, man, Keith Thurman got some of the best footwork in the welterweight division. He got he got heavy hands. He's fast. Uh, and he's very, very kind of, he's very tricky. He's not, I don't think he's a tradi traditional type of fighter. Um, he's, he's almost like on that you know kind of kind of awkwardness you know the way he kind of stands and stuff like that he don't he don't really use a jab either look at some of his fights if you want to you guys want to kind of study um what i'm saying but he, he don't really use a jab like that um errol spence and uh you know, i think some of the greatest boxers that ever existed they use a nice jab but keith thurman he, he doesn't i don't know why i think that's one thing he needs to bring in his uh rep repertoire um, and, and start using it could probably give fighters a different uh, give him a different dynamic to work off of but man let me tell y'all like this this Mario Barrios fight man with Keith Thurman it's gonna be a great fight it's not gonna be a, a one-man show um, I'll be very surprised if Keith Thurman can get rid of him early um, but I think between I, I think Keith Thurman is going to look really good early. I think Mario Barrios, he's good through the whole fight. Um, I, I don't know if he's going to get knocked out or not, but I think he, his condition and everything um, that I've seen, even though Tank is just a different type of fighter, but we talked to Keith Thurman. He has two, three-year layoff, so that, that's, that, that plays a big factor. But I think it's going to be a lot closer fight than a lot of people think, and I think we're going to get to really see what uh, Keith Thurman has left between maybe the fifth round and eighth round. I think he's going to look perfect. Um, in the beginning rounds, in the late rounds, we're going to see conditioning. Um, and we're going to see how he's going to take a punch. Um, I think even between the first round 
and maybe the eighth round, we're going to see, you know, how, how much punishment can, can Keith Thurman take and actually, you know, stay on his feet, um, not get hurt to the body. I think it, that's his weak point. And um, like I said at the beginning, I, I think he needs to, to bring a dab with Mario Barrios. I think he needs to walk him down and, and use his footwork like he always do. He's very slick with defense. I think I think Keith Thurman is kind of underrated. But uh, I, I, I like the fact that I, I've seen reports and also seen on uh, certain social media sites too that he has become the uh, WBC mandatory for Errol Spence. That's great news. But he has to handle his business, and Errol Spence has to handle his business with Yugas. Both of those fights are tough. I think it's tough for Keith Thurman because he has took such a long layoff, and Errol Spence he has also taken a long layoff due to injury. Um, I think Errol Spence been out of the ring. I think a little over a year. And Keith Thurman, I think his is probably two years and a half or something like that. Um, but I think if both guys can show up and show out, I think it's going to make for a great summer. I think these guys will probably fight July, June, July, somewhere in there. It'll be a, maybe a little bit later. And um, it could set up like big fights. But even you could throw Terrence Crawford in there too. Say things, say negotiations didn't go. Uh, you know, sometimes you can have a mandatory mandatory but a lot of times man them, them fights for some stupid reason these fights still don't get made but uh these i think Keith thurman is desperate i think he's going to be desperate to, to get back on top i think he's going to want another title shot and um he want to show that hey I'm, I'm still here i can pull off the upset between terrence crawford and uh errol spence but i think most likely he will fight errol spence since he's the mandatory i think it makes more sense i think it makes um a lot of sense for us as fans um, and I, I really, really want to see this fight, man. Um, I hope both guys, they stay healthy. Um, and that's all four fighters. There's Mario Barrios, Keith Thurman, um, Yugas, and Errol Smith. I hope all of them stay healthy enough to get through their training camps and actually make it to the ring and make it out of the ring safely. But with that said, I think that um, Keith Thurman got a lot to prove. He has more to prove than any other fighter in the welterweight division right now. Um, with the long layoffs, with the with the uh, seemingly looking like it was a, it was it looks like it was a bad loss to keep. I mean to uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao, but I, I don't think I don't really think it was that bad of a loss, man. I think it was more of a learning lesson than anything. Um, I, I I just think that Manny Pacquiao got way too many tricks up his sleeves, and he just had, that night was a great night for Manny Pacquiao. But I think it's a bounce back fight for uh, Keith Thurman with fight uh, Barrios. I think it's a great matchup. I think it's a perfect matchup for him. Um, but he, but he can he cannot take his eyes off the prize. He got to focus on what, what's the, what's ahead of him. He got to do what he got to do. And if he can get if he can get past this test, I don't care if it's Yugas and I don't care if it's Errol Spence. But all of those fights make sense. Um, but like I say, man, I'm telling y'all, man, Keith Thurman is going to show everybody the reason why he was on top for so long. Now I don't know if AIDS gonna get to him or what. But he has to, he, if, if age does not affect him that much, I think Keith Thurman is around about 33, 34, somewhere in there. That's, that's boxing old. I mean, that's boxing semi-old. But, it, but you know, just like us guys walking around, you know, it's not old. Just regular living, you know. But, you know, being a professional athlete, man, 30, I say anywhere between 34 and 37 is very, it's, it's kind of old. But uh, I really want to see this fight. I know you guys really want to see the fight. I think it's easy fights to pay for it, put on pay-per-view. Um, and I think that the card, they saying that the card with Keith Thurman, I haven't really looked at the jet, but they saying with the card with Keith Thurman is very stacked. So we shall see. But I cannot wait for this fight. Um, it's coming up, um, I think, next next week. So y'all stay tuned. But let me know what you think about Keith Thurman. Do you think he can get past Mario Barrios, or do you think Mario Barrios will pull off the upset? Let me know down in the uh, comments below. That's going to conclude another episode of Big Bear Boxing Squad, episode number 32. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about this topic and all the other topics that I bring up on my channel. If you want to see what I'm wearing, shop Tachi.com. Follow me on all social media platforms that I'm currently on. Links will be down in the descriptions below. Just want to thank you guys like I do each and every single video. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. I'm currently sitting at 117. Um, keep hitting that subscribe button. Hit, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. And also leave a like. Leave both the, all, all of those things helps out the, the algorithm of YouTube. Um, and also watching the, the video through the duration. But with that said, we got to cut this video short. Just want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Squad.